Welcome back for another Hoop Dreams video breakdown to enhance your basketball IQ. And today's player is Peyton Pritchard, showing us how to dominate the paint. First topic, finishing with contact. Peyton, nice drive up top. Good straddle step. He gets into the paint, takes the bump, eyes on the backboard, finishes. And look at him, passionate, having some fun. Now watch him here off the ball. He spaces out a bit so his teammate can operate, doesn't have anything. Uses the screen here, catches the ball, good patience, catches him sleeping, goes baseline, good jump stop and way to get into a body. Or kind of more of a straddle stop is one, two, but I love the physicality, how he gets into the man and then I stay on the backboard, which helps you finish shots close to the basket. Remember this, and one. Now watch here, this is against Xavier Simpson in Michigan. He's one of the top point guards. Moves off the ball with some good patience. Up top, catches him. Oh, there you go. Nice straight line drive. Wow. Big dog status. Look how he uses his body here. Straight line drive. And then he imposes his will on the player. Whenever you're driving to the paint, the defense has to honor that off the ball and on the ball. But it's physical. Look at the little post. How he gets open here. Let's his teammate get out the way. And he's committed to driving at him again. I love it. Way to get into the paint. Shoulders get below the defender's hips. Straight line drive. And look, he doesn't want to he doesn't want to foul him or touch him there. Because last time it was an and one, but it ended up being. So it's a really good job of Peyton imposing his will to get downhill. Now look, he could have drove there, but he's patient. Gets the ball out of his hands. And then takes advantage of it right now. Good change of pace. Wow. That's a hell of a finish. I guess that's the jelly fam you guys call that. But that's nice. Real creative. And then look at him talking his stuff. Having a good time. Pivots. Now watch how he uses his footwork once he's in the paint here. He uses the down screen. I believe that's Jalen House trails him. Who's a freshman. Oh, wow. So real fundamental. Drives at him hard. Jump stop, gets him up off his feet, step through, up and under, keeps the ball high, eyes on the backboard once again. Now here he is coming from out of bounds. You can see he's pointing to where he wants the ball. Takes his time, catches it, utilizes the jab, drives middle. Good job, good jump stop there too. I love that. Gives him good balance and then ball in the air, feet in the air. Watch Anthony Mathis, his teammate. Who played with him at Westland High School. They won three state championships together. Now watch Peyton here. Comes off the DHO. Drives it hard. Now these might not look at it, but he's getting bumped on every one of these drives. Good job. Ball in the air, feet in the air, bust down. Peyton is a strong kid. He's somebody that's worked really hard on his body and on his game. Has an intense work ethic. And you see it on these drives here where he's able to take the bump. It's a testament to his work ethic. Watch him here, just how he holds the guy off there to get open. Good patience. Okay. He works back off the ball again, catches it. Attacks his man middle. I love it. Good ball fake. Wow. Sees his teammate cutting back door. If you're playing with somebody who's driving... You should cut off the ball because players are going to ball watch when the ball is being driven. I believe one, at least one or two players should be cutting off the ball to the basket, making an attacking cut. Watch Peyton here. Leads against Seton Hall. A really good screen. Wow. He's got the big, so is he going to settle for a jumper? No. He imposes his will to drive downhill, gets into the paint, good footwork, pivots, finds the open man. See what the pivot allowed him to do? But his patience and his commitment to getting into the paint. Do not settle for a jump shot, step back, floater. Get all the way in there as deep as you can and find the open man. Which moves us to right now. We're going to work on seeing how he finds the open man. This is high IQ basketball. Peyton spaces out to give his teammate room. Comes back up top and you can see he wants to attack this guy. Gets deep downhill, two foot jump stop. Ball in the air, feet in the air. And that's a bump even on that right there. So all these drives, whenever you drive, you're going to get bumped. So if you're getting low 
and you're working on your body, you're going to be able to handle this. Any good point guard knows to get into the middle of the floor. And what does Pey Peyton do right here? Attacks his man, a little change of pace, hesitation. Doesn't really get by him, but because he's committing to getting downhill and trying to get to the paint, he draws help and finds a trailer. Ball in the air, feet in the air. He needs to get those feet set a little bit quicker, though. So he cuts the court in half here. Nice little change of speed, change of pace. He put him to sleep with that first crossover and then finds his open man, his teammate. I love it. If I'm a teammate of his, I'm going to be continuously moving nonstop and setting screens because I know he'll, whoa, tax Nico Mannion right there, gets one paint touch, drives it in here, gets another paint touch. <laughs> you get multiple paint touches on a possession, you're going to score out of that or you got a great chance. Ball in the air, feet in the air, bust down. If you like more videos like this to enhance your basketball IQ, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to us on YouTube.